Anatoly, you have a vast experience in chess Olympiads. When was the first one you participated in? Uh, I played the, the first Olympiad in Skopje in 1972. This was a very tough Olympiad, well organized. Uh, and I, as, I, as I know, uh, as I know before this Olympiad, which was well organized, uh, people were telling that Havana in 1966 was the best. But then later on, uh, we had fantastic experience in Dubai. And uh, till uh, that moment, uh, Dubai was, uh, was uh, much ahead in my experience with organization. What do you think of chess Olympiads in general compared to other chess tournaments? So this is big, uh, big uh, world festival, chess festival. And uh, uh, so uh, I can say that uh, we could and we had chances and we could uh, to become uh, Olympic sport. But it was quite clear that if we would enter Olympic movement and become part of the Olympic program, then we should reduce the number of players, number of participants. And so we, we regretted this and we didn't want. Probably we should, we should make another thing, just to enter Olympic movement and to become part of the Olympic program but uh, between Olympic Games to have our own Olympiad. So probably it was the most uh, wise solution. But uh, that time we didn't guess. That, that we, indeed we would sound like a great compromise. Yeah, I, th I think uh, and uh, probably we should, we should, uh, we should uh, make this, uh, this uh, idea, idea, idea and to support it and to, to combine our, our Olympiad and Olympic Games. Anatoly, you have done so much in chess, of course, as a player, as a promoter, as an ambassador. You are one of the ambassadors right here at the Olympiad. But in general, what are you doing nowadays in 2014 and moving ahead next year? So I'm still developing my chain of my schools. Uh, and uh, this year I opened the school in uh, Bulgaria, in Albana. One week ago I opened my school in uh, Germany in the northern part of Bavaria and then I opened uh, four schools in Russia. So how many schools do you have so far? So it's difficult to count because they have filials, they have sections, but uh, more than 200 in the world. Ah, that's, that's a big number, congratulations. <laughs> that's a big number. And finally I have a question, uh, I was surprised uh, to get reminded of the fact that while uh, the Soviet Union and then Russia was dominating the chess Olympiads from 1952 all the way until 2002, but then in the last 12 years we have not seen uh, Russia winning the gold. Any advice for your compatriots here in Tromsø to change wow. that? Just play serious. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, individually, and of course you know as Grandmaster, and uh, well, champion uh, individually, uh, our team is much higher in rating and results. But as a team, for many years they cannot play so well. Uh, so probably they don't have real leader who could uh, who could put uh, all efforts together uh, because team competition is still a team competition, not individuals. If we make uh, separate five uh, individual tournaments and then put the results together, then Russia would win for sure. But as a team, I don't know what happens, but uh, they cannot, they cannot uh, uh, show the result what uh, we expect. Uh, and uh, we hope that, uh, especially they became uh, world champions in team competition uh, last year, and we hope here they will have good result. And uh, we also have hopes for Russian ladies team. And, uh, but they have much more difficult job because China, China is very strong and uh, Ukraine is also very strong. So we have three good teams which will be compete for the, for the first place, for the gold medals. Uh, thank you so much for your uh, comments and also good luck for the Russian teams. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.